I'm Sammy White. I'm a Google Certified Coach, Trainer and Innovator from Yorkshire in the UK. I'm going to answer how can I teach mathematics effectively which relates to assessment and differentiation in Google Classroom. This is important because we need to ensure that we can teach all subjects online, including mathematics, so that we can engage all students. I will share how to teach mathematics with Google Classroom, including response validation in Google Forms, Jamboard, and sharing student handwritten work via Google Classroom. Scoring your assessment is quick and easy with response validation in Google Forms. In this example, we've used a short answer question and we've typed in the mathematical problem solve 3x plus 5 equals 23. The answer we are expecting is 6. We can set the response validation to accept 6 and for incorrect answers, we can provide hints and tips to help students reevaluate their thinking and adjust their answer. Google Forms also supports the creation of robust multiple choice mathematics assessments. For example, in setting this multiple choice question, we can include incorrect answers where we've applied the rules of angles on a straight line or angles around a point incorrectly. This allows us to diagnose misconceptions for our students and tailor our next steps based on their answers. We can also include visual representation in multiple choice questions, allowing students to represent their answers using images. Jamboard is a collaboration tool with features that make maths tasks fun. There's even graph paper in the backgrounds, grid paper and customised backgrounds. Geometric shape drawing is available just with a click here. And on a touchscreen device, we can use the pen tool to accurately show our working out. This is particularly useful on student mobile phones. We could also upload the question we want students to work on as a custom background image. And we could lock it in place before we invite student collaboration. We can ask students to share their estimates via sticky notes before we come back together as a class to correctly answer the problem. In this example, we've created a GIF of a model perfect answer for students to guide them through how we expect them to answer the questions coming up in the jam. Using insert image by camera in Docs, Google Slides or Jamboard, or using add attachment in Google Classroom to upload handwritten mathematics work is a great way to encourage students to take their time to set their method out clearly using a pen and paper, and then submit a photograph for review. When we assign a PDF or image on Google Classroom, as we've done here, the pen tool in Google Classroom allows them to submit their handwritten work via the Google Classroom app. Although it's not as accurate as seeing their notes in real life, it's a great way to encourage the showing of their methods clearly. Now we know what to do when we can't see students' handwritten maths work when teaching online. We can use Google Classroom to connect and collect that work.